My name is Eli Mukuna. I live in Zeeland and I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm here to learn how to debate uh, and also to have some, in order to get some skills of how to advocate. Um, this debate is, uh, has been a tool for us uh, to really know how to face uh, other people, especially uh, politi uh, policy makers and also politicians. And uh, we, I, I believe that this is a very crucial moment for African people to now maybe to learn how to process within this society and to understand a little bit uh, uh, the culture of this society. And this is all about inclusion. Uh, when we talk about inclusion, it's all about participation. And we uh, need also to participate within this society. And uh, I also believe that uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, knowledge and skills uh, because we, we know both realities from Europe and Africa and this can also facilitate uh, cooperation between Africa and Europe. We need uh, to, to develop also so, uh, an intercultural dialogue. This is really very important because uh, how are we going to know each other? How are we going to be uh, to, to understand each other? How are we going to respect each other if we don't know, we don't know ourselves very well? We don't know, uh, understand our uh, uh, each other's background. Um, that is why uh, I really think that uh, we should be uh, we should be included in this society. And also, the, the, the major thing is development. You cannot uh, pretend to be developed while excluding others. Um, in conclusion, what are we going to do in order to, to feel uh, like we all are working together is by organizing and developing this debate, intercultural debate, to get to know each other and to get to include each other in order for, for instance, European to understand African very well and African to understand European very well to prevent from stereotyping others, each other. And my name is Marlene Bommel, and I'm Dutch. Uh, in my surroundings in the media, I see a lot of talk about migrants and African youth in Europe. But still, there's a lot of talking about these groups and not so much with them. Uh, a lot of stereotypes exist. Um, and I believe in order to overcome those, uh, an open dialogue is necessary just to talk with those people and not just uh, about them. And in this way, um, mutual respect and understanding can develop and um, stereotypes will be a lot less because of this. Um, my name is Ifai Nkoma, I'm from Nigeria. I participated in the Erasmus Mondus program. I got a scholarship from the EU and I traveled east and west of Europe. I was in Poland, in Hungary, in Germany, in the UK and now in the Netherlands. I want a message to be heard. The inclusion of African in Europe is a very important thing that has got in the media all in talking. But what is more important, we need to understand that it's a global world and what is primarily more important is globalization is taking over the world and um, we need to be interested in that. If we're interested in the global world and interested in the good of globalization, we should also be interested in the inclusion of Africans. So while I'm here, I want to add my voice to the growing concerns to share my personal experience as well as to make everyone understand that Africans are just like you. So um, the purpose would, um, of this debate for me is to yeah, discuss. In the words of Alan Walker, when we discuss, we make progress. So just to find a common way, not just our own way, but to find a common way. That's why I'm here and that's why I'm yeah, talking from the point of view of an African youth. Thank you. I am Sabina. I was born and raised here in the Netherlands and I see a concerning trend where discourses of nationalism and xenophobia are gaining more and more popularity both here in the Netherlands as well as in the rest of Europe. I believe this trend can be countered by initiatives like this where people of different backgrounds come together and share their views and ideas. My name is Richard Ocheng. I come from South Sudan. Now, inclusion of African youth in Europe should be in the most interest of the European government. When this government begins to pay more attention to the educational needs of this group, 
and make the necessary investment to boost their quality and quantity of education to the level of their native peers, this youth would be in a better position to compete in the labor market and that will boost the economy of the relevant countries. But for this to happen, a good communication uh, channel between the policymakers and the youth must be created and that can be done through debate.